I'm here with Mary Lou Rosine, the author of this Our Sunday Visitor book called The Three Things Divorced Catholics Need to Know, a really important resource. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So there are so many misconceptions about Catholics and divorce. What was one of the most prominent ones that you ran into? Um, a lot of people think that if they apply for an annulment, it will somehow make their children illegitimate which is not true, and it's very painful. And it's also a tool that, unfortunately, in a bad divorce situation, sometimes one parent can use against the other to make the children feel that there's something wrong with that other parent's faith. So it's very yeah. good. It's a good point, and, and that you bring start with children, because the last time we spoke to you was in 2012 when you'd just done Catholic Family Boot Camp. So now you're coming out with this six years later. So tell me what's been going on during that time, and... What's going on with Catholic Family Boot Camp? Um, Catholic Family Boot Camp is a website now. It's my website. And I try to post on their little ideas on how families can grow in virtue, just like in the book. Um, and we're still offering that book online. I wrote another book, The Joyful Broken Heart, in between. And I'm doing a lot of writing for Catechist Magazine, Today's Catholic um, Teacher, and all that. So, you know, just a lot of catechetical. My goal is to bring people further in faith while at the same time meeting them where they are and having that compassion to reach them in difficult situations and bring them closer to the truth of the Catholic Church as they walk out of those difficult situations. Oh, that's a beautiful way to put that because it's such interesting journeys for families and, and certainly we want, always want to be rooted in faith. But the sad fact is, is that many Catholics marriages do end in divorce. So tell us what drew you to, to write this. I myself went through a divorce and a remarriage and um, made a lot of mistakes along the way. I had a lot of misunderstandings myself about what the church taught. And then the second part of that is I am also an RCA coordinator. And a lot of the people that um, I have coming into my RCA program are people who are married to Catholics in the Catholic Church, got divorced, and now they want to become Catholic, but they have to apply for an annulment because they were married in the church. So I wanted something short and sweet. Um, I wrote it around the time when Morris Letizia came out, so there was a lot of confusion. And I just, I wanted to give people a tool to understand what annulments were, uh, how to deal with divorce in general, and to understand that the church, in all the beauty and wisdom they have, they want to walk with us from a place of pain to a place of healing, and that we can do that. And I also wanted to teach uh, divorced Catholics to, to learn to advocate for themselves, to go to their parish priests and say, look, we need support. You know, we need help to not be afraid to go back to Mass, to not be afraid to talk to people about what they're going through and to kind of take some of the stigma out of it. I think that's a, an important role, a very pastoral ministry for the entire parish to have as a community. Uh, and certainly for a family to understand that we're not alone, that our community stands with us. Um, you know, in, in the marriage ceremony and the nuptial mass, we talk about, will you as a community support this couple? Yeah. And that has to be during that sad time of a divorce. Yeah. I think so. And I think uh, one of the things that we, um, stig stigmas that's attached to it, as I know in my own situation, I got married as a Catholic thinking I was going to be married forever. And I didn't realize that one person can walk away. They always say it takes two people to break a marriage. And that's kind of true. When you do the annulment process, you see your own fault in it, which is, is very helpful. But I didn't know you could wake up one day and somebody could just walk away from you. I didn't think it worked that way. And I guess I was coming from that broken place of now being healed and been in a successful 28-year marriage. Um, I wanted to help somebody else to, to get through that. I think, too, the annulment process has always gotten a bad rap in the Catholic Church. You know, people would say things, oh, it just costs a lot of money, this, that, or the next thing. And, of course, the document you mentioned earlier, Morris Latazzi, you know, that tried to dispel that. But many dioceses had already done that, you know, just to be outreach to people who are in a delicate situation. Tell us about some of those misunderstandings. Um, well, I know in our diocese, in, in reference to what you were just talking about, um, if you couldn't afford your annulment, if you couldn't afford the paperwork, it's just a processing fee. But if you couldn't, even before this document came out and they changed everything, oftentimes the parish would pick up the cost or the diocese. So that was one of the big things. Um, I think the changes in the process where it's not automatically appealed, it takes a little bit less time, that was one of the... Uh, 
kind of things that were stumbling blocks for some people, um, the misunderstanding what an element was. I don't think, see, I think we have to step back. I don't think people understand what a valid marriage is. And that's where I started with the book, is what does the church really teach about marriage? Because you can't talk about divorce without talking about marriage. And most people, as I was trained as, a, as an annulment, like a sponsor, um, once they understand what the four key points of a valid Catholic marriage are, they're pretty easily able to look back and say, oh yeah, one of these things was missing. You know, maybe I was too immature to understand what permanence meant. I, you know, I was, I was 18 when I got married or 20 when I got married and, you know, I hadn't even been alive that long. I didn't have any grasp of what something meant forever till death do us part or, you know, um, so there's all kinds of things that go into it. And I really wanted to clear up what marriage was so people could understand what an invalid marriage was. That's a, that's a good point. Just get back to the basics and, and understand, you know, where you were and, w and where you're going to. That's a great point. So where can people get a copy of the three things divorced Catholics need to know? They can come to my website. There's a link to OSV. They can go directly to OSV Publishing and order it there. They can order it in bulk for pastors or um, anybody else in ministry that wants to order it for their parish. Um, and they can go to Amazon. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks so much. It was good to connect with you again, Mary Lou. Thanks so much. And now back to the rest of This Is Today.